Hey guys, Psychic Pixels here. Welcome back to more Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. In the last episode, we played the Murray missions. And this time, actually, I thought to look at the Thief Net. Uh, is there anything else? Nope. So, um, actually, what do you think? Um, that. Right. I'm going to be eventually getting every single upgrade, so I'll be showing those upgrades off when I can. Alright, so I just bought the alarm clock and the smoke bomb. The smoke bomb... I think I've explained both those items, actually. But, um, let's go and hit select. Trigger bomb and alarm clock. Trigger bomb. You throw a bomb. And you trigger it. Whoa! I didn't know that could one hit those flashlight guards. And then the alarm clock. Throw it, and it distracts guards. Oh, you can do that in midair. Nice. Nicely, nice, nice, nice. I didn't know you could do that in midair. Nice. Okay, unleash the guru. I shouldn't have gone over there. Ah. Okay, enough of that. Enough of walking, too. Ow! Come on, come at me. Ow! Alarm clock, go! Ow! Pfft. Oops! Oopsies! Uh, that was bad. Okay. Pfft. He's not moving. Okay. Took me three shots to kill him. Okay. And that was the guy that I tried to get. The first time. Alright. Let's go to Unleash the Guru after two minutes of farting around. Okay. Okay, cut to where I actually get to the stupid level. I forgot my way around here. Hi. Bye. Purified Ayers Rock, and now I humbly deliver your walking stick and moonstone. The time for escape has come. Ooh, da, da. Thank you, you're too kind. But tell me, how do you plan to escape? Oh, da, in da. Get Luke's. You can transform yourself. Why, once you change shape. A guard is sure to come inside and investigate. Hey, Baba Honda. Hi, Baba Honda. <laughs> Too true. Wait, here comes a guard. So now we are in control of the guru. Hold down the L1 button to transform. I love it when you do that. So hold down the L1 button. Where'd he go? We transform into a Different thing. Uh oh. Once his back is turned, use your power 
powers to take over his mind. Come on, turn your back. Oh, gosh. I turned into a rock. I'm a rock! Dang it. Move your bony butt and move out of the... Ugh, come on. Alright, so... The Guru. He doesn't have any attacking moves, but when he transforms like this, guards are like, What the hell? Where did he go? And, but when he's on top of guard, you can go and um, run into a porta potty. Apparently, you can go and hit the X button, square button, to go and actually do an attack. So let's go, boosh! Head for the drills. Now, you kind of want to go on these guys because they are a little bit faster. And if you ever want to do something, you can pretty much do what Sly does with any other spot, what the others do, but just with a guard. And each, each and every single guard has its own specific um, attack and own specific jump. I hear you. Those drills are tearing up the landscape. They appear to be fragile at the base. Grab a guard into it, and the whole apparatus should break apart. Oh, yeah. Some things never change. All right. So, that guard is pissed at me. Other than that, we just need to go... Oh, he's going to blow up. Okay. Alright, so, um, also while you're on top of guard, you can press the triangle button to um, jump off. But they still keep going, too. So, I expected a guard to be here. Alright, you can still run while you're the guru, but it's much faster if you go on top of the guard. Like this guy, he can shoot. And if you jump off with this triangle button, they still keep going. They keep going for a little bit until they actually hit a wall or something. Which is actually pretty cool. I really like this specific, um, oh jeez. Where'd he go? I really like this specific ability because some things you could just jump off of and it's just more fun to do it that way. Alright, so we have one more and we need one more guard. Here we go. Here's a kangaroo guard. We... Oops. Whoops! Didn't mean to kill him in that way. <clears throat> Alright. Hmm. There's a guard over there. Oh, here. Hi! I'm on top of you. We. Master, you are king. Keep it up. Bentley's got another plan to stick it to these miners. Head for that far rock. All right, we need to head for the far rock. But where'd he go? Where'd he go? All right. Hi. Oh, jeez. Whoops. Oopsies. Didn't mean to do that, sorry. Oh, shoot. Hi. Alright, time to head to the far rock. Uh, 
Alright. We have to be off of a guard in order to do this, by the way. We have to be off of a guard. That grinder is tearing up wave rock! <coughs> I know, it's awful. However, the link generator is weak. Easily destroyed. Provided you can jump a few guards over there and ram it. Huh, or don't I? Alright, so we need to go and destroy that thing. Oh! Huh. The guards despawned. Okay. Du -du 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 -du. Hi! I'm going to ram you into a boulder of generator. I thought I was going to ram him into a boulder, actually. You're the master, master. I love Murray's commentary in the in this specific mission. It's awesome. It's like, oh my gosh, master, you're so good at destruction. Die, guard. Got die, my friend. Rawr. Boo. It's crying hot, oily tears from your righteous blow. That sounds weird. Hi! I'm gonna go- Oops. I'm gonna go run you into the wall, apparently. Now I'm gonna run you into a generator. Yari! Electricity! Job complete, the guru. The guru has agreed to join our team, provided we can rid his homeland of the dingo miners and deal with the mask of dark earth. A tall order, but we're up for it. First, we'll enlist the aid of some local wildlife to help fit out the miners' ranks. Murray will feed our foes to a local giant crocodile. With some luck, he'll take a liking to the taste of miners and chow down on them left and right. Second, we'll hit these guys where they live. Or at least, relax. If we can clear them out of this lemonade bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll be begging to go home. And finally, Sly will use some mining equipment to drill for radioactive oil deep beneath the dried lake bed. Trust me, it's the key to getting rid of the mask of dark earth. All right. So we've got a few jobs here. I think there might be something new in the thief net. Aha! Hover pack. Hover pack. Extends your jumps in the air and pretty much gives you a quadruple jump. Berserker charge, I believe I we already saw. Uh, juggernaut throw, enemies explode on impact. And then, oh, the paraglide. This is one of the most useful items in the entire game. You can glide in the air by hitting the R1 button. Oh, and jump attack 1. Jump attack 1, I think... We already had rocket boots. Actually, no, 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 no. We had the knockout dive, combat dodge. Actually, yeah, we had the rocket boots. But we didn't have the jump attack either. So just press triangle and X to do an electrifying jump attack. Alright, so we're actually going to play, play as Murray for, uh, for the next episode. Because, I mean, for that... Right now, because his thing's right there. I subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to, uh, uh put the smack down on these, uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous. I'm the man for the job. The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley. 
I approve! With some luck, the oversized reptile will be an invaluable asset in our efforts to drive away the miners. He might even take care of our Mask of Dark Earth problems. I've spotted it prowling near the safe house. Roger! It's feeding time! Hi, hi. All right, we have to give him four dingoes and four kangaroos in order to make this work. Whoa! All right. Ow. Ow, jeez. Okay, now I need to subtract a few guards over here. Die miners, jeez. Alright. Ow. Ow, what the heck? Why wasn't my stomp move working? Alright. Whoa! Ah! No! <sighs> Dang it. Die! Out of my face. There we go. Die! Oh, come on, that didn't work. Whatever. Nice, tasty flashlight guard. You're not a flashlight guard. Die. Ow. Die! Boom! Aha! I was juggling that guy. Okay. Murray, you'll need to sneak up on the biter with a flashlight in order to grab him. All right. Sneak up on this guy. Yard. Or I could just do this. Hey <laughs> hey. Yard. And I can use this guy as a projectile, probably, if I remember correctly. All right, giant crocodile. Hi, here's your dessert. Hey, cover, Murray. Here comes a guard wearing the mask of dark earth. Let's see if all of your hard work with this croc pays off. Job complete. Murray. Um, let's see here. The Claw and Lemon Rage. Hmm. Both of them are pretty long missions. Um, I think we're going to call it an episode. Because the Claw is going to take a while. And Lemon Rage is going to be even longer than that. But, um... Actually, do I have anything else? Nope. Never mind. Uh, so, once we get to the next area, I will be going and grinding for money. So, you guys don't have to see me grind, like, 10,000 coins from everyone. So, just go ahead. There. What am I doing? What am I saying? Okay. So, we are going to do those two jobs in the next episode. And keep, in keep this in mind. Two items are in the shop that we definitely need to get. And that's the hover pack 
and the Paraglide. Both of them will be used for the next, uh, the next chapter. They won't be used in the next episode. It'll probably be four episodes before we need to use it. Well, I'm talking about episodes in this series in, instead of episodes for in Sly Cooper. But, um, the next area that we will be going to, the, ne the next world, I mean, we will need the paraglider and the hover pack. So, just use Sly and pickpocket a lot of the guards if you don't have the money for it. If you do, and you have it already, good job. You're, you're ahead of the game a bit. So, this has been Psychic Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time.